Hey, babe. <laughs> You're so childish. G. P. <laughs> Did you hear the sound? Cheers, everybody. Been a day already. It's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, crazy weekend. Um, Friday night we had a shrimp boil at my sister-in-law's place. Um, I got a couple marriage proposals and uh, offers to move in with some different people <laughs> as long as I'd cook for them. Um, came home. Uh, Saturday was just kind of chill day. Just, just hanging out, relaxing. Um, came home Sunday morning, well, Sunday afternoon. So we didn't have a live. We just was sitting in the car down in West Virginia. No service through the mountains. So that's why we didn't do a live. But anyway, um, Saturday morning was also, um, so my brother-in-law's nephew's boy was stayed the night with us. He's five. And got up in the morning. I was drinking my first cup of coffee, and he wanted coffee. Well, he's five, no, no coffee. So I talked him into hot chocolate, and he said, "Well, that'd be great, but it's not winter time. Can't have hot chocolate if it's not winter." Well, we'll just put ice in it. Mm, no, but if you ice it down really good, then it's a iced hot chocolate, and it'd be cold. Yeah, we can try that. So I made him a hot chocolate, and we played uh, we played Rock'em Sock'em. That was uh, <laughs> so we we had coffee and Rock'em Sock'em. Um, got to hang out with the girls, go check a few places out. Um, very very blessed week. Uh, I, two years ago, um, this same trip we took, and. We knew something was wrong, but we didn't know what. And now looking back, I'm fortunate and I'm blessed that I was able to do it again. And it meant so much more. It did. It really did. It's just hard to put into words. Um, but I got to meet a fellow YouTuber. Uh, Tom, that was awesome meeting you and hanging out. We could have sat, we, we met up at Cracker Barrel for dinner, and I'm telling you what, I could have sat there and talked with you for many, many hours. Uh, good dude. Really appreciate taking the time to meet up with us. Um, so we got home Sunday afternoon. Wife drove to the Virginia North Carolina line. And then Pedro from North Carolina line all the way first way south. <clears throat> about an hour and a half. Two hours. Uh, about two hours. But anyway, um, it rained almost the whole way home. It was never fails whenever the wife's driving. <laughs> we're coming home from somewhere. It rains. Um, so we were unloading the car and... The wife took some stuff upstairs and she said, she come down and she said, hey, did you shut the air conditioning off before we left? I don't think so. I might have, but I don't think I did because the dogs were still here and, you know, Rusty was coming by letting the dogs out. Well, it's hot as shit upstairs. Go upstairs, it's like 83 degrees. Whoops. The AC's on. I go and I look, and the motors, the fans, not spinning on the unit outside. Well, crap. So I go check the breakers. There was no power outage because all of our alarm clocks and stuff like that, all the clocks on the microwave and stuff, was still right. So no power blip. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't. Know, I don't know. So I checked a couple other things. So Cub calls me. She said, Dad, what are you doing? Because as soon as we got home and got the car unpacked, they took off to do errands, go pick up paychecks, that kind of stuff. So I told her that AC's out. She said, oh, well, we, we ain't doing this, Dad. I'm getting some fans. Okay. 
So she stops to get some, a, a few more box fans. And the wife called him this morning, had the man come out. He just left, um, he got here about a little before noon, and he just now left at 2, 2.15. Um, did all the preliminary checks, uh, found a safety switch upstairs that needs replaced. And Freon's a little bit low, but the culprit, the culprit is the fan motor on the unit. Yep. Got lucky. Lord's watching out. Man had a fan that size on his truck. We didn't have the special order. Because apparently the unit that we have, the actual replacement is a certain certain size, RPMs, all this. So he would have had to order, but he had the next he had one that is compatible. So dodged one on that. So you know, talking with the young man, and he had six more calls this afternoon. It's only, it's 2.30. So he's a busy, busy man. Um, banked him a lot. You know, I got the AC running out. I closed up the windows. I can feel it blowing right here. I can feel it. So huge blessing right there. Um, can say the bill was... Yeah, so we'll be living out of the freezer for a little while. Um, but anyway, it was it was it was a great great week, and I couldn't even begin to count the blessings that we had. Um, There's a few days where I did get a little emotional and things did get a little, but. That's what happens, man. That's what happens. You know, you take things for granted. You, you tend to take things for granted when you don't know that that could have been your last. I, you know, enjoyed the time with my grandma, my aunts, my uncles, my in-laws. And just very blessed. Very blessed. So, all right. So I'm going to show you guys this thing. Um, I'm not sure when my parents got this. I think it was for a wedding gift. But it's a cake tin, pie tin. Well, if you can read that, Regal quality aluminum. Regal Wear Incorporated, Key Wascom, Wisconsin, USA. So anyway, my dad gifted us this out of his pantry because he doesn't use it. And what's really cool is, so what's really cool is it's got these two little spring latches right here. Lift up. That's where you put your pie, right? This piece has a tray. Comes out, you could put a second pie. Yeah. Or you could put cupcakes or a cake. Lift that up, and then this is for pie or more cupcakes. Pretty cool little deal. Not sure how old it is, um, but I know my parents, it's been in my parents' house ever since I was a kid so pretty cool little deal thanks pops all right so one last note for the day um, today's my godson's birthday happy birthday Myron love you buddy um, he's turned 11 they had a small birthday party last week for him last weekend I was able to go um, Real emotional real, uh, for me because with everything that's been going on in his 11 years and the distance, we haven't spent much time together. And 
for me to be able to spend that little bit of birthday with him and you know he took a nap but it's all good uh, he also got his birthday presents in the same month as his birthday because I'm terrible <laughs> I'm terrible at it it's sending stuff Christmas is always like three or four they have a few weeks late but hey happy birthday Myron love you buddy and uh let's one one get out of here and uh hey there's something good in every day you can be that something good y'all have a blessed day rock on